All right. Okay, guys, uh, I'm here in, uh, in London. Okay, behind me is uh, the Tower Bridge, right next to the London Bridge. Okay, uh, I was going to start a new lesson today, but uh, for now we'll be talking about um, my friend here, Onyinka Chuku. Uh, I've just met him here at the subway, and we started talking. And um, he just told me a lot of in interesting things. And then I'll, uh, I'll let you talk to him, or I'll let him talk to you, so that uh, you can know what he's doing here. Yeah, yeah I'm Hilary Onyinka Chuku, okay, okay. I'm here in London for a visit. I'm from Nigeria. I'm a student, a master's student of petroleum engineering in uh, Technical University, Cloudstar. I had my primary education in Nigeria. I had my first degree from petroleum engineering at the Federal University of Technology, Oweri, before I moved down to Europe to continue my master's. I'm here in the UK. I was in Scotland. Uh, three days ago for a conference. So I'm now in London for a visit. That's where I met my good friend, all the way from South Africa. I really believe we really need to understand our differences. And once we understand our differences, Africa can be a very good place. It is a very good place indeed, and would be a better place. I would really advise anybody that has the opportunity to get themselves educated to do everything possible to be educated because it's that's your power that's your key and that's going to make the difference in your life and if you don't do it I think you might not really know what you're missing because that's the only way you can get the necessary exposure to be yourself my definition of mental slavery is uh, you talk about a lot of issues in Africa now and young people want to leave and come to Europe for greener pastures. I know this situation is so terrible, but once you come, you, f you really f realize that there's not much difference from what we got back home. There's no difference. But the thing is just that the thinking, the mindset has to change. You can make where you are the best place as long as you have the will and the education, the information to do it. And once you start thinking in that direction, like I said initially, that that's why you need all the necessary education and information to be able to emancipate yourself from what I call mental slavery. I mean, it's not the new word to us in Africa. Uh, people like Bob Marley sang about it, but every time you sit down, people like Fela Anibola Kuti from Nigeria sang about stuff like that. And every time you get to listen to philosophical people like that, and you I haven't had the opportunity to be in Europe, I've mean, been in London, been in Scotland and in Germany, you really realize that there's a need for you to be informed, that there's a need for you to get a lot of education so that you can really emancipate yourself from that matter. So. Okay, now uh, your master's degree that you're doing, um, why do you do it in Germany? Um, uh, it's a lot cheaper as a school in Germany and the Germans are really grounded in technology, they're grounded in engineering and it was what actually prompted my decision of going to Germany. I would have come to the UK but it's a lot much, much more expensive for foreigners to school in the UK which I don't have that money to do so I sorted for other options in Germany and it's really paying off today for me. Now, why is it that you get more technology and education in Germany in, in contrast to having the same uh, technology and knowledge in, in Africa, do you think? I, th I think what has happened over the years in Africa, it's, I mean, there's no, I, I won't say there's no foundation, but as time went on, the, the level of education went on a declining line, it depreciated that there's the, 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 the products of it from Africa are not so appreciated anymore and that's more reason why you see a lot of people want to go abroad to get the knowledge when they think yeah when you come abroad you're, you're going to be recognized after schooling and that's what I'm saying that it's still things being right back home because if things are right back home I wouldn't see a reason why people would want to come abroad to to do their masters and if things were right you do your masters you have your education in Africa and to be recognized worldwide and what am I saying in essence things being right is getting to do putting the right machineries on ground for, for the future of the unborn children in Africa because I mean for us now I, I, I don't know for us now 
you think you can get the best from there. But what's going to happen to the generations to come? Is it going to be the same story? No, I think that we need a change. Information. The, 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 the attitude has to change. We really need to emancipate ourselves. And if we don't do it, nobody's going to do it for us. Here I'm on scholarship with Cam Copper Cameron in Germany. I would also give it up to my country for their different supports for the universities and making it, the federal universities, making it uh, uh, subsidized enough for people to go to school and be able to have basic education. And having said that, I would also like to thank my parents, basically. Although they are late now, but I would like to give them all the glory. They did a lot to give me the basic education, and that's why I'm here in Europe to further my master's.